Today, hundreds of people came together to remember a fallen Metro hero. Brandon Scott has the story. It was a remarkable thing that one person's tragedy could turn into something so beautiful. Early Sunday morning in Council Bluffs, hundreds of people from across the metro ran a 5K race in honor of fallen officer Carrie Orozco, showing that more than one year after she was killed in the line of duty, her legacy lives on. It takes one type of soul to go out there every day and defend people that you don't even know. This race was just one event in a day filled with activities. The goal? To remember Carrie by bringing the community together and to raise money for causes she cared about. From the Boys and Girls Club to the Special Olympics, even large dog adoptions. This is just wonderful to see people carrying on the traditions of the charities that she loved. The people that she loved are here today. Carrie's aunt, Lori McNeil, helped organize the event. Carrie's mother, Ellen Holtz, was there too, painting faces for kids. Just down the street, dozens of Carrie's law enforcement brothers and sisters played in a softball tournament. Carrie loved sports, so much in fact that she coached for the PACE program, which teams at-risk kids with officers on the playing field. All of the money raised today will be split evenly between Carrie's favorite charities. Money will also go to a scholarship fund in her name. Reporting in Council Bluffs with photographer Davey Burke, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT6 News. Today's activities also included a bike ride and a 5K walk, and winners all received a special carry-on coin.